The 59th inaugural ceremonies are planned for January 20th at the U.S. Capitol. The Joint Congressional Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies has been responsible for its planning since 1901. This year's theme is our determined democracy forging a more perfect union. And it comes after our country has faced quite the tumultuous election period, both leading up to and in the months following November 3rd. President Trump ultimately calling for a smooth and seamless transition of power following last week's riots and breach at the U.S. Capitol. This morning, we're going beyond the headline into the plans for this inauguration. An event already scaled down because of the pandemic might be more so after the events of last week. Tall metal fences are now up around the U.S. Capitol where the platform on the West Front had already been assembled. Most of the events will be virtual, from the traditional inauguration luncheon to the parade, and performances will be televised from communities across the country. Viewing stands built to hold crowds of onlookers in front of the White House were in the process of being dismantled even before last week's riot. Organizers say the live audience will be limited to members of Congress and one guest. In comparison, normally 200,000 tickets are given out for Inauguration Day. Former Presidents George W. Bush and Bill Clinton both plan to attend in person. At 96, former President Jimmy Carter and former First Lady Rosalind Carter will not attend for health safety reasons. It's the first time they haven't been at an inauguration since Carter himself was sworn in in 1977. By tradition, the outgoing president accompanies the president-elect to the Capitol for the swearing-in ceremony. President Trump said he will not attend. The last time an outgoing president chose not to go to an inauguration was Andrew Johnson, who skipped the event for the newly elected Ulysses Grant in 1869. Vice President Mike Pence is planning to attend the inauguration, according to a source familiar with its planning. Joe Biden said he'd be honored to have him there.